Are you seeing your reflection? And you're like, dang, I look good. You do. <laughs>
And then I moved Henry, my other budgie right here, still working on figuring out what I'm gonna do with the cages, if they're ever gonna get back together or not. Probably not, but he's right there. Also recently just moved my Beta Wilson down here. Um, also destroying his whole enclosure and getting him some fresh plants, some moth, moss balls. He is yet again to be another uh, work improvement. Do you hear Rufa in the background crying? That's my puppy, sorry. Um, I just recently bought this filter on Amazon. Not gonna work, so gotta pack that up and return it. But update on Wilson soon. I have a really funny story about him. He actually came all the way from New Mexico. I transported him. Long story. It's a good one though. He's still alive three years later, but working on his new tank. Um, you guys have been following me for a while. You know that I used to have a 30 gallon tank in here where I kept my puffer zero. He actually passed. Um, I haven't said anything to anybody. This is my first time saying something. Um, I've just had a very rough week. I haven't even been on Instagram really, so I'll get more into what happened. He was like four or five years old. I think he just passed from old age, but he was right there. Moved my budgie, if you guys are wondering what was going on right there. So, unfortunately, he did pass. of a room all right so let me just go over what i moved around this used to be right over here i got my veiled chameleon corn snake bullfrog leopard gecko crested geckos in there i'm in the process of cleaning that out and adding paper towels pac-man frog african fat tail crusties Leopard gecko, leopard gecko, salamander, and then my bearded dragon, which I took out all substrate for right now. Um, the reason why I did that, I just felt like he was getting like a lot of dirt in between his like private parts. And when he would be like went to the bathroom, there would always be like dry stuck dirt on there. He'd be like, you talking about me? So that's one of the reasons why. I could have like not been misting it down properly, maybe not use the right mixture of substrate. This is just for right now, it's not permanent. I may eventually go back to loose substrate, but keep you posted. For right now, this works. I got his cool side because I feel like he's starting to try to um, burn me a little bit more. So cool side, warm side, some branches, water dish and a food dish. Um, like I said, <laughs> Had some, oh, I don't know if I told you guys, but I did have some fruit flies in these tanks. So that's why they look so bare right now. And don't worry, I was not using Windex for the reptiles. Don't ever use Windex for it. I actually had this picture that I need to take down, but I was cleaning them all up to get all the dust out. But yeah. And then right now, this is where my ball python is. And this is where I'm planning to put my ball python. And then that is also my frog, um, my chubby frog. So disaster. You guys have never seen it like this. And well, this is reality. Um, it makes me feel a lot better once everything's going to be 
all running. So yeah, let me, uh, I wish I could snap my fingers and it'd be perfect, but let's get into organizing some of this stuff. She can't have nice things because she literally just goes to the bathroom all over it. If you can relate, let me know. Comment down below. Or maybe it's just my <laughs> my corn snake that loves to go to the bathroom everywhere, all the time. Love her to death, but she's it's stinky too. It's very stinky. Oh, I gotta go clean that. My apologies for the bad glare, but this is a 40 gallon breeder that belongs to my male leopard gecko, Ozzy. Um, he's been in this for quite some time. It was over here and I recently just moved it over here this morning. So I need to add water and calcium, but I did also custom build his background. He absolutely loves, 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 loves this enclosure, especially with the uh, well, uh, <laughs> wild substrate, the loose substrate. Um, he's actually the only leopard gecko that likes it. I'm in the process of taking the uh, loose substrate out of my other geckos enclosures, but I know he likes it because I always see just like little dirt piles everywhere. I recently just tried to like smooth it all even, but give it a couple days, it's going to be all over the place. But this is his tank, which I always see him out and about. And I, I like it. It's not perfect. There's definitely some like cracks, you know in the background, but hey, it works. It works for him. I wanna mention I am planning on getting a UVB strip and a little basking area for him and possibly adding some live succulents. So not finished, uh, always room for upgrades, but this is just okay for right now. <laughs> okay, so I just got done setting up Ujjayi's temporary enclosure. So. Do not come at me. This is not permanent. I am planning on going bioactive. I just need to collect all the plants and all the accessories for that. They eventually, like previously, all my geckos were bioactive until the fruit flies took over. So let's get Ujjayi right. He's in this little one right here. Um, he is my baby crested gecko. He's like, or you know what? He's not a he. It's a she, I'm almost sure she's a she. She's a little wild, so hopefully she doesn't give me any problems. Why do all my birds just start going off when I start talking? Hopefully she doesn't give me any problems. So let's go put her in her temporary enclosure. Okay, so I don't know if you see her little nub, but right here, this is Ujjayi. She's beautiful, actually has some Dalmatian spots on her. But she is a wild woman. She likes to uh, freak out. She doesn't really like to be handled. I mean, what little baby crusty gecko does. So I'm gonna put this camera down and um, transport her into her temporary enclosure. I gotta get her little stand for her food, but like I said, temporary. This will do for this little gal. Capitan, stop crying. I'm going to come to you in a second. Do you guys see him? He's stuck. You ready, eight? I'll be right there. Let me just get Ujjayi out of here. Out of here. Hello, my little lady. Hi, don't bite me. Okay, don't. No, 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 no. Say hello. You're so pretty. Okay. This down. Grab this. Let's see how pretty she is. Look how pretty she is. Okay, focus, focus. Woo! 
Look at those bats. All right, lady. Go on. Get a free. Woo! <laughs> so pretty. All right. Thank you for not giving me problems. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anything. That is going to wrap it up for today's vlog. Stay tuned for the after look of this room. I'm really excited. Thank you guys again for always checking out my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye.